Well, hi everyone. We're on my pet room floor. My channel started out with sitting on my pet room floor recording videos and <laughs> it's been a long time since I've been back here, but you know, no makeup, pet room floor sitting. This is OG, just as animal friends. You know, when I watch those old videos, I get kind of sad because I think like, <laughs> and personally, I was happy all the time back then. Um, and also like my my childhood dogs will be walking through the background and they're now dead. So it's just like, ah, oh, what good times a few years ago, you know? I just feel like things were illuminated back then. Like when I look at those memories, there's like a glow around them. And then when I look at memories from like last year, the year before, I'm like, <laughs> I think 2018 was my last like solid I'm um, happy year and then 2019 came around so I don't know what happened but it's been it's been a little tough ever since with that great introduction today we're going to be opening some boxes that I got in the mail it's a Black Friday pet haul pet supply haul most of it is for building enclosures and gifts for Jackson I want to be careful that that little dog right there does not see what I got him so let's go ahead and start um oh yeah please like and subscribe and uh, away we go I'm just going to be opening some boxes so this box is already open this is really heavy it is literally all um, the clay balls it's literally just drainage layer this whole box because I have four Crested Gecko enclosures and a lychee upgrade um, that I need to put these in. And I'm trying to get all of that done desperately before the end of the month. Cause I really want to put out a pet room tour. I haven't put one out since 2018. Like I said, the good year. Every time December rolls around, I realize like I haven't put one out and I really want to. And I'm like, December is the perfect time to do it. It's the end of the year. So you can do one at the same time every year, you know, show the upgrades or whatever. Um, and also, December is the time to make that money on YouTube but um I I never have things where I want them and I it's a me problem it's not a problem with the animals it's a it's a me problem of like I'm always trying to compete with myself in terms of getting things to be exactly where I want them and that is an exhausting and expensive problem to have so I'm trying to rein in that behavior of thinking like I don't want to film a pet room tour until it's perfect because it never will be I'll always want to change something so right now I'm just settling for getting like some enclosures out of here and into my bedroom and um because I have a shelf coming um you know the rats passed away so I had some space to fill I rearranged some things get some enclosures um like where I want them to be and then also I would really like to get the crested geckos and my lychee into their enclosures that I built or I'm still building and then once all that is in place I will feel content to to show off the enclosures however I did get hit with inspiration the other day to build a fire belly toad polydarium and a yellow belly toad polydarium separately now that I have the space and once I get hit with inspiration uh it's hyper fixation city it's all i can think about so that's unfortunate because um i didn't get anything for the polydariums for black friday i'm tapped out in terms of like extra fun money to be spending on builds and stuff so i have to wait and i don't have the time to get that done for the pet room tour so it's just like frustrating but anyways that's where my head's at so i opened this box i don't want to make too much noise because he might come over so the first thing i got was whimsies jackson really likes the i shouldn't say his name my dog really likes these <laughs> and um i have some jars in my room that i keep um whimsies and treats in for him you know for like if i'm really busy and and like you know he's being so good and so patient i'll give him one and then i have another petco box petco had some good sales plus for some reason I think Petco, this might have happened and I just didn't notice, but they had to like refund an order of mine ages ago and I guess I had used Pals Rewards and they felt bad or whatever, so they gave me extra Pals Rewards, so I got like $15 off um, some some things I bought, so like that's real nice, plus there was the Black Friday sale and uh, a lot of the toys were like buy one, get one free or whatever because it was that sale and that, like Christmas sale, I was like, yes please. So I did spend quite a bit of money 
on uh, on Jay's Christmas stuff. So I also got him these wholehearted soft and slim chicken. I check all the ingredients before I buy them. Don't worry. But um, but yeah, I got him these. And he has an advent calendar this year, which I think I might film like for TikTok or something. So if you don't follow me on TikTok, make sure you do. It's just Jessica's Animal Friends like it is here. But I might film every single day of me like giving him his treat from the advent calendar. Um, but it's really cute. It's like this big wall hang and it's like dog themed and it has a little pocket for each treat. Oh, it's so cute. I got it when I was in Tennessee earlier this year at like the little Christmas shop they have there in the city. And so, I'm really excited about that then there's also these which are blueberry and it's just you know like little tiny perfect for the advent calendar again i checked the uh, ingredients and these are all treats he's had before whoops i shook the tripod these are all treats he's had before so it's not something that i'm worried about now the next box is also from petco the the biggest box is this one over here that you can only see the bottom of it's literally make a foot shorter than me it's a pretty tall box so that's from josh's frogs we'll get there but right now it's another petco box thermometers i needed them for my uh axolotl tanks so well i dropped it so i got them so those will be useful and i'll go put them on the tank so i'm done here and then i also got a couple more of the wholehearted treats because i want little things to put in his uh advent calendar pockets so i got him a bunch of small treats so he's got um, these ones which are bacon and cheese and he got these ones which are peanut butter and again he's had all these before and they go over well and my other dog Zach who's like the family dog he uh has eaten these as well and of course I'm gonna give him some uh when Jackson gets them so I wanted to just make sure I had a bunch and you know a good little variety plus I like that they come in like a clover shape and you can break them off pretty easily because I don't want to give him a whole one I'll just give him a little one you know and then we have the last box which should have all of his toys now, the one thing to know about Jackson is he likes things that make a lot of noise and can be destroyed. So like he likes things that have crinkle paper or or like toys that you can put water bottles inside of. Anything that makes a lot of noise, really loud squeakers he loves. He loves toys that have a lot of stuffing and things in them that he can tear out. He's not a big fan of like tug ropes. He al already has a few, so when he is in the mood for tug ropes, we use those. But he doesn't really, like, I don't get him more because he doesn't really use them that much. He likes tennis balls, but uh, like to rip the hair off them. He likes to hold the tennis ball in his feet and with the front of his teeth, just rip the hair off the tennis ball. It's very cute. Um, so I, he has tons of those. I didn't get him any. So I mostly just got him things right now that I know he'll have fun kind of tearing apart. And also, he's really into toys that are way bigger than he is. So like some of his favorite toys from like Christmas last year, um, his birthday, um, and then just like little gifts throughout the year or whatever, have been really big toys. And fortunately, during like Halloween and Christmas when Petco has like there are dog toys out like for sale that are themed there's oftentimes really big ones that are like four feet long and jackson loves to carry those around the house he just like holds it in the front of his teeth and then he just drags it along the house he'll go up and down the stairs with them he'll run out around the house with them he loves to carry them around even after he's ripped all the stuffing out and it's just like the flesh of this you know destroyed toy he just likes to drag it around with him so i wanted to get him some big ones and so that's what i did so let's go ahead and take a look at them okay so he shouldn't notice i don't want to make too much noise with them because if he hears it he'll come over so there's this really long bone that is super soft has crinkle which is his favorite there's a squeaker right here um, and of course it's, it has this very cute <clears throat> Hi love, you aren't supposed to be seeing any of this yet, it is literally still November. Oh, he just laid his head down on me, what a beautiful boy, how am I supposed to show the people what you got then? Come here, come, come. Lovely. I also got him this um, Naruto collar. Yes, I did. So he usually he gets like a new collar. I know his nails are a little long. They need to be trimmed. Um, 
I have to put him in the bathtub to do that. Very fun. Good yawn. Good yawn. Oh. Anyway, so he got a Naruto collar. As you can see right here. Um, are you a little leaf ninja? Yeah? Do you want a treat? We have four bags. I can give you one. You just can't see your toys yet because it's not Christmas. Here. You want to try one? You smell good? You smell that? You smell good? Okay, hold on a second. Just lower it a little bit so you can see. Here. You can't sit in front of me and chew it. I need to... Yeah, here, here. Go ahead. He wants to sit behind the camera and do it. Okay, so while he's eating that, I will try to quickly show the rest of his things. So then he also has this one which says, oops, <laughs> fix that. So he also has this one which says naughty and nice. That's a bit of a tougher fabric, so I'm hoping it takes him a little bit longer to break through. Um, but I always call him naughty. That's what I call him. When he's, he just looked at me. When he's, when he's being like acute misbehaving, I call him naughty. And then there's... Okay, so I got this one because it has a water bottle crunch in it, but I thought it'd be one of those toys where like you can put a water bottle in it instead it just comes with one already in it. I was hoping to like, oh. I don't have anything. I'm just sitting here talking to a camera. Did you like that treat? Was that tasty? You wanna have one more? I'll give you a different kind though. That way you can just sample it out. You know what I'm saying? You can sample it. Do you want blueberry or pumpkin or the bacon and cheese? You go ahead and pick here. I'll I'll open each one. You can smell. We'll do a little a little taste test or smell test or whatever. Okay, I'll open each one. No, no, you have to wait. Sit down. Oh, you sat on the tripod. Don't worry, when I'm saying sit down and I raise my hand like that, that's not because I hit him. That's just because he understands hand gestures more. Like, he'll say sit if I say it, but he normally knows if I do this, he, he knows I mean, like, business. Like, I want him to do it faster. Okay. Oh, these blueberry ones smell good. Oh my god, it smells like human food. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. I know, I know, you're so desperate. I know, I know. Hey, hey, back up. All right, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, here, you go ahead and smell out of these, these three bags. Can you see that? Crap. <laughs> go ahead and smell out of these three bags, Jackson. Don't mind the hole in my leggings. These are my, like, sleepy pants. Okay, which, which one? Go ahead and smell and take one. Which one, which one you want? God, do you like this one, this one, or this one? Which one do you like the, which one do you like the smell of? That the one you want? You're not giving many indicators here. Do you like this one or this one or this one? Yeah, what about this one. Okay, what about this one? Which one do you want? Yeah, he won't, he won't reach in there and grab them. He's so well behaved. Okay, let me see. Let me just break off. Hold on, hold on. Let me just break off a piece of each one, and then you can tell me which one it is that you want, okay? Oh shit, I don't remember which one's which. That's peanut butter. That's blueberry. Okay. Which one? Oh, oh, oh. You gotta have them lined up fairly. We gotta, we gotta pick. Alright, which one? I think that's bacon and cheese. What? You didn't eat it? <laughs> what the heck? Are you too worried about what I have in my hand still? You like that? Was it good? Alright, here. Shake. Good boy. You can't even see him doing it. Here, I'll get a better- I'll get a better look at it. Okay. Ready? Shake. Good. Kiss. Kiss. Good boy. High five. Good boy here. <laughs> Good boy. He's so smart. 
Okay, that's all you get. That's plenty. No, no, that's plenty. I'll save the rest for your, um... Block! Your kiss had crumbs in it. We will save the rest for your advent calendar. And if you guys want to see that, like I said, TikTok. Thank you for being such a good star of the show. Give me smooch. Thank you. <laughs> so spitty. <laughs> so spitty. What a good boy. <laughs> what a good boy you are. What a good boy. Look at your little hairs. Good boy. Thanks. You want to sit here? How am I going to show them the rest of your things? Oh, I left one bag open. Whoops. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. Here. All right. There, that's it. That's all you get. Keep your cute face away from me. Excuse me, I gotta put the tripod back. Yeah, I know you're in the way. Excuse me. Ooh, you come sit over here for, for a minute, please? Thanks. Okay. Oh, the light is moving. Soon the daylight is going to encompass me. We must get this done quickly. Okay. So, yeah. So he's another long one that is this colored. It looks like a candy cane. Um, and that's his toys i can't show more right now um because he's here and he's aware um but i will make sure that when it comes time to christmas he can um have all of his gifts unboxed on camera which i did a few years ago as well but i don't think i did it last christmas okay so that is that and now we have the josh's frogs box which is this big one ah i almost cut myself open this is why I don't want you over here, Jackson. Just in case any accidents happen. Alright. Box is open. I'm just gonna pour everything out. Kind of chaotically. been poured out okay so i ordered some of these like curly jackson hit the tripod this is chaotic of course so i ordered a bunch of these like curly viney looking pieces of wood for my crested gecko enclosure that belongs to uh rue because her driftwood is dark in her background so i was like let's match it with some dark Kind of knobby looking wood and so i got those three pieces and then i got a bunch of manzanita from josh's frogs and this is the problem with ordering manzanita online right and typically i get my manzanita from um manzanita direct which is like a company that you know you you buy the manzanita wood and you know exactly what you're getting because they have like a bazillion pictures of it and like measurements and stuff and josh's frogs has that too but I don't know if it's just like my brain or something, but I imagine the pieces to be bigger than they are whenever I order them. Um, and so I have a bunch of sticks here. And the reason I got from Josh's Frogs this time compared to other times is because they had uh, free shipping and they had $30 off orders over like 150 or something. And I had to get the drainage layer. I had to get all this wood. But uh, I almost wonder if I should have just ordered from my normal wood place now, which kind of is a bummer. I had hoped like when I got all of this, I'd be able to visualize it and see that like, this will work well for um, my lychee build as well as the few Crested Gecko enclosures I have to fill. And this small bundle here is not going to to do it. That's on me, that's not on, on them or anything. Um, so I definitely am gonna have to order more wood now, which is a bummer uh, because it is now Tuesday and no longer Cyber Monday or Black Friday. Um, but yeah, these are all like, these ones are solid pieces. Um, the weathered bits, this one's really cool. I like this one a lot, but the weathered bits are really cool as well. Like I like weathered manzanita. I just, I think expected them to be a bit bigger. Um, but again, that's on me. Uh, and even if I don't use these in Crescent Gecko enclosures, I'll find use for them. It's hard to fill um, the space of an 181824 Exoterra. Like, it doesn't sound like that big, but then once you're decorating it, it's that big. 
So I have a bunch of like cork and stuff that I bought some time ago. Hi baby. That I bought some time ago that I'll be using in there. And then I already have driftwood in some of the enclosures that's like built into the background. But yeah, it's it's a challenge to fill the space. And um, I think I might want to get some vines and like maybe I'll, I'll order some more driftwood. But I was hoping that this was going to be it. It's not. That's okay. I'm going to get some more driftwood. Um, and then finally finish those enclosures and then finally you know hopefully post a pet room tour come here jackson you want to say bye this is the end this is the end we've unboxed everything come say bye come on come say bye come here come say bye come on come say bye to everyone <laughs> stop falling over come here Oi, oi, oi. All right, say bye to everybody. Say we're gonna go play frisbee. Are we gonna go downstairs? She's getting excited. Are we gonna go downstairs? Jackson, you wanna go downstairs? <laughs> bye guys.